Hello, everyone. Hello. From July 13th, I was on an overseas success academy tour. So it's been a month since I've stood here. I went to Toronto and to six other cities in the U.S. Then I visited Mexico, Australia, and Cambodia's Phnom Penh. I visited all around the world. I was able to see this Atomy business grow exponentially wherever I went. That's because this is a global business. So, if all of you sitting here can go abroad, your business will grow even faster. If you look at our company motto, the first is cherish the spirit. This is the most important point. What that phrase means is that we cannot manipulate people to get what we want. But we are to put humans as an end in itself. In other words, it means we need to acknowledge people's dignity. Let me say that again. We are not to manipulate people in order to get what we want. Rather, we must see humans as an end in itself. This is the most important proposition of Kant's philosophy of ethics. Without keeping this, super synergy of united hearts is impossible. And if super synergy of united hearts becomes impossible, you will never be able to make $50,000 a month. I can assure you of this. Have you made $50,000 a month before? Do you know why you couldn't? It's because you worked on your own. It's because you worked alone. Even in Atomy, there are people who only trust in themselves. And they will never be able to succeed. The sponsor and partner must be united in heart. Then, the sponsor will start to work. For his partner's success. And only then can that sponsor be successful. There is an old Chinese saying, You can't use a crane in order to lift a big ship. If water fills the bottom of the ship, that ship will naturally float. What does that water signify? Your partners and consumers. If you follow these principles, you are bound to succeed. Let's talk about that more later. The topic for today is the success function for Atomy Business. You might say, I hated math in middle school. What is this formula? This is actually very easy. It's the success formula. Let's say R stands for revenue. What function is this? It's the function of X, Y, Z, and F. It's a formula for these four variables. Your promotion and compensation will be based on this function. What then is X? It is your effort. It's you. I haven't seen anyone succeed while blaming their failures on the company, their sponsors, their country, and partners. Those people won't be able to succeed. You're the one to blame. I gave a lecture this morning to the Royal Masters on Confucius's Analects. I talked on the last chapter of the first book. Do you know what it says in there? Don't be concerned that others won't acknowledge you. Be concerned that you will not notice others. Don't be concerned that others won't take notice of you. Be concerned of your lack of ability. Those are the words of Confucius. What does that mean? It means everything is your fault. In Atomy Business, you can't do it alone. Why? You need other people's help. You will not be able to succeed without your sponsors, partners, and consumers' help. You won't be able to make it. You've trusted your abilities up until this point. But why is it that you can't make $50,000 a month? It's not because of your lack of talent. That is just the limit of what one person can do. 
However, if you unite with other people, you can succeed. Next, the variable Z is the system. Even if you work hard with others, if the system is a mess, you will not be able to succeed. One man sows and another man reaps. You work so hard and someone else takes your wages. In that kind of system, you can never make money. Last, the F variable is luck. Let me explain to you later what this luck is. Do you know who this is? This is Andrew Carnegie. He actually only went to school till fourth grade because his family was so poor. But what happened? He became the richest man in the world. He said, do your duty and a little more. Those who go to the center 30 minutes earlier than others and those who get off work half an hour later will definitely succeed. So, do just a little more. Devote 100% of your energy and ability. This is also one of Andrew Carnegie's quotes. The average person puts in only 25% of his efforts. The world respects those who put in 50% of their capacity and stands on its head for those who devote 100%. This is a man who became the richest man in the world by starting from nothing. He is not saying these things from years of study. This is all coming from his experience. Next is the Y variable. This is the super synergy of united hearts. We use this expression quite often. Super synergy of united hearts. This expression comes from the book of later Han. In the later Han period, there was an emperor named Kuang Muje. These are the words of the emperor. So, the former Han had collapsed in the hands of Wang Mang. Now, Wang Mang had a mighty army. Kuang Muje was a descendant of the Han Empire. But, he had a very weak army. Kuang Muje had gathered the weak army that he had and fought against Wang Mang's strong army. Kuang Muje ultimately defeated Wang Mang and established the later Han. The expression super synergy of united hearts can be found in this book of the later Han. The moral of the story is that when weak people come together, their synergy will make them strong and united. This is how you will make $50,000 a month. These days, the idea of collective intelligence is becoming popular. The person who came up with this is Harvard's professor William Mortar Wheeler. Wheeler discovered something interesting while researching about white ants. Each white ant did not have the intelligence to build an ant's nest. A white ant's nest is usually located in Africa's grasslands. Sometimes they can be found in South Africa's pampas. In these regions, the temperature outside is usually 40 degrees Celsius, while it's around 15 degrees in the evening. In such conditions, the white ants will not be able to survive. As a solution, white ants build their nest so that it has a natural cooling system. Inside the nest, the temperature is maintained to 24 degrees. It is surprising that one white ant does not have the intelligence, but when over a million ants come together, they can build this nest. Professor Wheeler called this phenomenon collective intelligence. It's a best-selling book right now. When I visited Melbourne, Australia, I noticed that they build their city hall benchmarking this ant's nest. This design saves energy by 80% and maintains the temperature inside to 24 degrees. That area is actually pretty hot. In the same way, if you just take one of us, our abilities might seem limited. However, if we can become united as a group, we can gain collective intelligence. This is what will bring us money, nothing else. This is like having a lever effect. This long stick is the lever. And the longer the stick, what happens? You will be able to lift a heavier object. Let's say this rock bears the weight of your life. You will not be able to lift the rock on your own. However, if you use a long lever, you will be able to lift the rock. What would happen? 
if the lever breaks. You wouldn't be able to lift the rock, right? Now, this lever signifies the relationship of trust between the sponsors and partners. You need to trust one another. If not, the lever will break. That is why mutual trust is very important. You should not lie to one another. This is an A4 paper. How thick do you think this will be if you fold it in half? How many sheets will this paper have if you fold it again? There will be four sheets, right? What if you fold it again? Eight sheets, right? What happens if you fold this paper 50 times? Many of you might already know because I've said this many times. If you fold this paper 50 times, what do you think will the width of the paper be? <laughs> the width of the paper will be the distance from the Earth to the Sun. That's about 120 million kilometers. Why don't you try folding the paper 50 times? If you fold it 51 times, it is the distance to the Sun and back. This can be explained through the doubling effect. This shows the power of the doubling effect. The principles of math never lies. Math never lies. So, let's say there are two people under you. Up here, it's just you, right? Two to the power of zero is one. What about down here? It's two, right? And here, two to the power of two is four. What do you think will happen if you have 50 levels under you? There will be tens of thousands of people. When that day comes, you won't even know all your partners. You might even run into them in the bathroom. You might even get into a fight with them. Because there's so many of them. As I said before, when the water fills the bottom of the ship, no matter how big the ship, it will float. The same principle applies here. However, for this to be possible, there must be synergy. Between the members. Let me tell you a story. There used to be a man. Who didn't want to pay his servant. So the servant said, Master, give me just one cent today. And tomorrow, give me two cents, and four cents the day after that. The master agreed to the servant's proposition. Now the master didn't think it through. He thought he didn't have to pay the servant that much. But what happened? After 20 days, the master owed the servant $1,000. From this point, the amount goes up exponentially. It increases exponentially. So, what happens after 24 days? The master owes the servant $16,000. What about on the 29th day? That's $500,000. This master has gone bankrupt, right? At the end of the month, the master owes the servant $1 million. This is the power of exponential growth. If you are saying that there's no money here, only after a few levels, then you do not know math. After a certain point, it will grow exponentially. You won't be able to contain it once it starts growing. This is the principle of exponential growth. It is truly amazing. Let's look at Atomy's system. It's what brings us success. Let me just briefly explain to you about the system. Atomy business is a people-oriented business. If you focus on the people, you will surely succeed. If you focus on your compensation or rank, you will fail. If your partners succeed, you will also succeed. All you have to do is just ride the wave of success. What happens if you don't care for your partners or their compensation and only care for yourself? Your partners are not stupid. They will drag you down. They will pull your pants down as you climb the ladder of success. They won't leave you alone. Then you won't be promoted and you won't be able to make money. 
The system is designed so that if you help your partners, you will be successful. So, if you don't do business that is focused on people, and take out people from this system, people will suffer. If you put money over people, people will suffer and everyone will lose out. You will lose out, and your partners as well. So, in conclusion, Atomy is a people-oriented business. Let's look at number 9. Atomy has a global one server. Other networking market companies do not have this. Why then do we have this system? We projected that this was the key to Atomy's success. We actually threw questions to Korea Fair Trade Commission. If there would be no tax or legal issues. Fortunately, one public official knew the tax system inside out. He told us that there would be no legal issues. When we verified this, that's when we implemented this system. There was no issue at all. Next year, March, Atomy is launching in Russia. Russia has a population of 140 million. Then, there's a giant that's left, China. China's population amounts to about 1.4 billion. They have a massive purchasing power. So, if you can open your eyes beyond Korea and open your closed minds, all of you here can become royal masters within five years. If you are pessimistic, you won't succeed. If you say there's no way, you will never make it. To those who say no way, there is no way for success. Your success will be determined by how hard you work and how big your dreams are. Your height, your looks, your academic background, and your social status, all of these don't matter. Next, I've explained this many times in the past. The god of time Kairos is found in Greek mythology. The Greeks thought that opportunity was determined by this god. Look at this image of Kairos closely. He has long bangs, but his hair in the back is bald. This signifies that when opportunity is in front of you, it is easy to grab. But when opportunity passes you by, you will have missed your chance. He has no hair in the back. How are you going to grab it from the back? Look at his shoulders. He has wings, right? And what about in his heels? There's wings there too, right? This means if you can't take hold of opportunity, it will fly away. What does he have in his left hand? He has a scale in his hand. This means that you should calculate whether the opportunity in front of you is worth it or not. And in his right hand, he is holding a shaving knife. If it's worth it, you need to make a quick and sharp decision. It is written, time does not wait for anyone. Time will never wait for you. You need to hold on to opportunity when it's in front of you. The ability to capture a moment is also called Kairos. Whether it be in short track, car racing, or in a marathon. The instant moment that an athlete takes over their opponent determines the competitor's victory. We're fond of this sport short track, right? The ability to determine when the opportune moment is to overtake the opponent. This is called Kairos. Fortuna is the goddess of fortune. In English, the word fortune means wealth or luck. The goddess Fortuna is always depicted as standing on top of a ball or on top of a wheel or boat. And her eyes are always covered. This means that fortune finds people randomly. It is not certain that you will find fortune. Fortune has no sight. And it is on wheels, so it can fall on anyone. In this manner, it is the same as Kairos. You must hold on to fortune when it is in front of you. These are images of Fortuna. Her eyes are all covered, right? She is spinning the wheel of fortune. And you must grab it when you have the chance. Next, 
We talked about the variables of x, y, z, and f. What are these things related with? It all has to do with your attitude. Your mindset determines all these things. It boils down to one major variable, your mindset. What will you do? Fortune is not something that will just fall into your lap. You need to hold on to opportunity when it's in front of you. Now, on to the conclusion. These are the four do's for success. Do just now. We are entering the fourth industrial revolution. The United States is predicting that about 80% of its jobs are going to be displaced. In Korea, scholars are more conservative and predict that about 50% of jobs will disappear. Everything is going to be automated soon. So scholars are saying, in the fourth industrial revolution, people need to invent their own vocations. No one will give you a free job. What is Atomy then? In Atomy, everyone in it must build their own system. You have to create your own vocation. Second, do together. This is the super synergy of United Hearts. What's the third point? Do ardently. If you do this business half-heartedly, you can never succeed. You must give it everything you've got. I've never seen anyone die in Atomy because they've worked so hard. Everyone succeeded, so give it everything you've got. There's no one that dies from studying so hard. If you commit everything, you can succeed. And the last point, do not give up. Never give up. This is the last point. And I want to tell you all to never give up. The moment you give up, you will be a failure. I hope all of you here will become royal masters in three to five years. Thank you very much.